What am I doing now? I'm going to convert the furnace to generator power. I'll cut one of the ends off of this, and this will be plugged. It plugs into the outlets. Two metal boxes. This one for the outside. This one to feed the wire under the trailer. This conduit will fit inside here. And over here, I got the tools needed. I got two of these. Two of these. This. Linesman pliers. Drill to drill some holes. Phillips. Stubby Phillips. And wire cutters. Now I already got the power turned off at the breaker. Because you're going to be working with electricity, so you want to make sure the power is off at the breaker. Not just the thermostat, but at the breaker too. So, let's get started. Now, here I am under the trailer. Yes, here's the wire that I ran. So now I got to run it out there, over here somewhere. I'm going to put this in armored conduit. special. Now this is the way trailers are. There's the hole there. This is the new, this this wire here. This is the power which is coming in the mains. This was ran by maintenance. Like that. Because the original wire was tied into a switch that powered the furnace. So, I had problems with the furnace. So this is back when maintenance actually did shit around here. But now we own it, so they don't do shit. They won't even fix the skirting. Or thaw frozen pipes now, because supposedly we own it, so... We're not responsible for frozen pipes. I'm paying you fucking lot, Randy. The least you can do is fix my fucking skirting. Assholes. But anyway... So now I need to go run the electrical box outside. Put this in some aluminum conduit. So... We'll be right back on that. Okay, the wires run. See, I got part of the aluminum conduit there. Of course, I have to do it the hard way. And you can only, because the size of the conduit, you can only feed the wire in like a couple inches. And then you just have to start turning and turning and turning it. So it like screws onto the wire. So now, next is to mount the box. So this basically runs in conduit up to the furnace. So. Next step, mounting the box. As you see, box is mounted. It ain't going nowhere. It's not pretty good. Next step is mount the outlet in here. Then I got a special in-use cover to protect it from getting wet. So you got the piece of conduit here that the aluminum runs into. Goes up in there and then up to the furnace. So, what, what, so how this will work is I'll have a... Uh, two male end plug extension cord. I'm going to lop the female end off, splice a male onto it. That one end plugs into here. The other end plugs into the generator, which will then send power through this outlet to one of the outlets inside the furnace. And that way all you got to do is invent a power outage, unplug the furnace from the mains outlet, plug it into the generator outlet, and the furnace would then run on generator power. So this outlet will never be live except for the jet when the generator supplies power to it so let me wire in the outlet and you can see what i mean all right covers mounted outlets in place this is so it can it cannot cut uh, accommodate the giant plug this is up there's the single outlet the generator will provide and i gotta go in and start in the rain like shit now so work on the inside part now Okay, back at the furnace, wiring is complete. You can see you got the metal conduit coming up here. Had to drill a couple holes through the plate. This was somewhat tough metal to drill through. Anti-shard bushing, I'll put another one here. This is the outlet for the generator. So, this, so basically, and this is here, extension cord comes in, hooked into there. This outlet here, is the mains power coming in from the panel. See, it also goes down there. So under normal circumstances, 
the furnace is plugged in like this. This won't go all the way in for whatever reason. And this provides, supplies the power to the furnace under normal conditions. Lose power. I wheel out the generator. That plugs into the outlet outside that you saw earlier. Then what I would do is unplug it from the mains. Then I just simply plug it in to this one. And then the, gen and then the furnace is running off of generator power. So this way in the middle of winter, I have heat. Should I lose power? So that's how you would hook up, a, rig up a gas furnace to run off a of generator power. Not too difficult. Just have to make sure you just have to know what you're doing with electricity. Aluminum conduit to protect it. This wiring was ran by the maintenance people originally. So comes in through here, into here. And this one comes in here, comes up to there, and into there. I added this a while ago when I replaced the blower motor. This is just a single speed standard mobile home furnace, single speed blower. Nothing fancy. Miller by Nordine. This thing's probably as old as me. But so far it still runs. So that's pretty much it. Gotta change the filter. This one doesn't use a filter, so I had to kind of makeshift one up. Because so I just kind of use fishing line to tie the filter to the door. And it's time to change it. So next video, well next part, I'll make the same video. I'll just uh, show you how to modify an extension cord so you can put two male ends on. So be back with that. And here's the modification to the extension cord. It's 12 gauge, 50 foot. All I did was lop off the female end and attach to another male end. So you see you got the male end here and the male end here. And how this is work is one end plugs into the outlet on the generator. The other end plugs into the outlet I got on the side of the trailer. So the generator would then send power to that outlet, which would then send power to the furnace. So just a simple little modification like that. And I have my own special generator cord for powering the furnace. So that's going to basically do it for uh, converting the furnace to generator power. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped.